Welcome to Brown Coat Reviews. I'm your host, Laura. Now here at Brown Coat Reviews, we are going to do four different things. We are going to talk about comic books. We're going to talk about comic book series, and we're also going to compare the different stories. So that way you can see if one series did a great job and you should definitely check it out, or if there's one series that had a lot of potential, but maybe missed an opportunity, or some of the series that I just recommend you avoid. Now you may agree with me, or you may completely disagree with me, and that's the wonderful world of comics. We are all welcome to agree and disagree, and I would love to start those discussions with you. So I am available here in the comments section, and I also have an Instagram account. So you can see the titles that I'm reading, the different covers that I'm debating what to purchase. Would love to hear from you all which one's your favorite. And then you also get a chance to give some feedback on covers or titles or series and books that you want to hear more about too. So please take a look in the description box and you will see more information there. Second thing we do is a behind the scenes look at the world of comics. So that's where we're going to talk about different local comic book shops. We're going to interview whether it's live shows, take a look at the warehouse sales, and we're also going to look at more of the artists, the creators, the writers, or those different amazing crafts that are available that are sold thanks to this amazing world of comics. We are also going to talk about cool collections, and that's where we are looking at whether it is amazing comic books, covers, variant covers, or comic book inspired figurines or unique finds. And lastly, we are going to talk about women in comics. This was a series that I felt a little inspired to do, not only as a woman who reads comics, but I feel that there are a lot of misunderstandings or misconceptions about women in comics. And I think that there are so many great titles out there, and I can't wait to talk about all of them with you. So please tune in to any of these series. So I try to post three videos every week. So in order to see the latest features and videos that are available, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share these videos with your friends because we are definitely growing and the faster we grow, the more content I can upload. And of course, the more exclusives and behind the scenes features that I can offer you. So please join the journey and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we are actually going to be talking about one of my local comic book shops. Now you've heard me talk about them, which is Ultimate Comics. Now Ultimate Comics has three locations. They have one in Durham Chapel Hill, one in Cary, and then of course my local LCS, which is Raleigh. Now, I know many of you are asking the same question. Why am I not starting with the Raleigh location? Why am I starting in Durham? Don't worry, at some point we are gonna to go to the Raleigh location. We're going to interview Dan and you're going to see how amazing he is and that location and why I love it so much. But I wanted to talk about the Durham location specifically because they just moved. So they moved on December 30th of 2020. They wanted to finish the year outright. They do have a back issue location and I was hoping to catch them when, once that was available. And sadly, I'm just a week or two too early. So in the next week or so, it is going to open. It is going to definitely be a big deal. Um, and I'll do a part two of the series, no problem. We'll go back and we'll check out the back issues. I never pass up an opportunity to go to a comic book shop. So the old Durham location was good, but it needed a bit. So for instance, especially with COVID restrictions, you could only keep five people in the store because it was so hard to socially distance. There were some amazing figurines and collectibles that were in the shop and that were displayed very beautifully. And they did have some exclusive variant covers. And of course they had some new releases, but they were a little limited on square footage to be able to fit a lot of the new releases. They did have some trade paperbacks, but again, there were still some restrictions on how many they could squeeze into the space. So before COVID, um, I had been to the Durham location when there's the free comic book day. Typically they'll have a, like a $1 back issue sale and you can dig through the boxes if you want. And then of course you can go inside and see what's there. This was all, you know, before we had to worry about social distancing and inside the store definitely got a little crammed. We made it work. You kind of squeezed around everyone. And thankfully when you're dealing with fans of comic books, they tend to be pretty cool about, you know, you just wait your turn until you can get to whether it's the box or the shelf that you're trying to access. 
So with the new location, they're fixing most of those problems. So instead of having to squeeze around everyone just to get to a specific spot, everything is much more spread out. It's so much easier to social distance and it is very, very COVID friendly. So when you walk in, one of the first things that you're going to see on the left is this little showcase of comic books. And actually what I really liked is that they put most of the Ultima Comics exclusive variants over there on that shelf. It gives you a chance to sort of check it out and see if it's something that you're interested in and also see some more rare or exclusive covers that they have as soon as you walk in the door. And who doesn't appreciate being greeted by Spider-Man? And one of the first things that you will see inside of the physical location is your young adults location. This one has a great selection. Um, there were a lot of different things that were available to the children and I really liked that. If you're ever trying to decide what type of comics to get for your children, please ask one of the associates in the store. They can help you and they can definitely direct you into the type of material that you're wanting for your children. Now, this is the new release section and it keeps going and going and going and going. Like I said, there's quite a bit to discuss here. So actually, I even had to stop filming because I was pretty sure I was going to lose everyone's attention. Let's just say it's extensive. I wanted to get a lot of covers. Um, there were a lot of issues that were still there, even some new releases that had gone out, you know, a couple weeks before that I figured would be gone. On the other side, we have the trade paperbacks. So this is actually, you know, your central bookcases and there are two sides to it. So you eventually will see me walk around to the other side. They had pretty much everything you were looking for. So you had plenty of Batman, you had Black Panther, you had Deadpool, Wonder Woman, Spider-Man, pretty much you name it, it's here. If not, they can find it for you and get it at one of the other locations, which is one of the many benefits of working with Ultimate Comics is if let's say you walk into the Durham location and they don't have it, they're going to reach out to the Carrie and the Raleigh shop or the warehouse and they're going to ask, do you have whatever the title is you're looking for? So stock always kind of shifts within the locations all the time. So they don't mind sending something, for instance, from the Durham store, which I reached out just this week to get, and they send it to Raleigh for free so that way I can pick it up along with our pull box. It's a really cool option. Now, this I had to showcase, one, because the little Hulk figurine is amazing, love it, but then this is all Dungeons and Dragons um, books. So this is the section for Black History Month. So what they did is they showcased different Black artists, writers, storylines, and they have a really good collection available. So definitely check that out. And then we start getting into some of the otter shaped collectible items or the larger sets. So I don't know if you've ever seen these. We already have two of them and I tried so hard not to buy another one while I was in the shop. But what it is is the artists themselves will come out with a collection of their favorite or their most famous covers and they'll kind of blow it up to poster size. So the book itself is pretty big and you can rip it out and you can frame them. Now over here, these are of course some of the figurines that are available and I'm sorry, like I, I am a Game of Thrones fan, loved that series, the books are better, but that's okay. Story of my life. This particular figurine, there's something about it that just really drew me to it. It is Brienne of Tarth. It is gorgeous. Never thought about collecting that one, but I was impressed. I did like, of course, the Jack Skeleton from Nightmare Before Christmas. There were some other really gorgeous figurines that were there. And this isn't the only set of figurines. There are more in the shop, so just keep watching. <laughs> So of course now you're seeing the Wolverine Alex Ross cardboard cutout. Now they do sell these at all the Ultimate Comics locations. They're really impressive and of course a great little photo op. I took a teeny tiny little sneak peek into the back issue room. I promised that I would not take any pictures inside there. I just took a quick little glimpse just so that way you can see that they exist and it will be in this room eventually. 
they are still filling in some of the issues. And one of the things that they said specifically for this location, so the room itself is not huge. And they admit it. So I'm not saying anything against the Durham location. However, what they have said is that they are going to be regularly filling those back issues or exchanging them for more exclusive titles. If you're looking for some of those bronze, silver, or golden age comics, they may not be there this week, but give it another week or two and they may appear. Now, of course, we have our you know short boxes. You can get your dividers, your bags, your boards, and there's Daredevil. And then of course the final figurines and me waving at myself but with a comic book in my hand so that was a half wave attempt <laughs> say hello to me the other things that of course i show but i didn't zoom in on as much as there's a whole set of pops and i mean that is another one of those bookcases that's double-sided a lot of different ones so if you're looking for a particular one again they may have it, or they may be able to find it for you at one of the other locations, or they may be able to order it for you. Now, Durham location. I am biased because I love my Raleigh shop, and it's also a little bit closer for me. However, I really did like a lot of the changes that they made with the Durham location. Compared to what they had before, this allowed them to fit so much more in there, let alone fit more people. So when we have our next event, or Gosh, whenever we can have the free comic book day and go through some of these back issues and have the tents and have these things without worrying about COVID, there's going to be a lot of great things about this particular location. As always, the staff is exceptional. And I think that this has enough room to grow with the store. I would recommend checking out this shop. Obviously, the Cary and Raleigh locations are also exceptional, but I do think that what they've done with this particular location is wonderful. So great find, great pick, and a great location. So thank you so much, Ultimate Comics. So for our behind the scenes series, we still have a live show that I'm going to be interviewing. We have another local comic book shop that I'll be interviewing, let alone, I still have more Ultimate Comics locations to go to and need to interview the staff. So there's more to come. Just give me time. Keep subscribing, keep checking out these videos. If you put that a little bell alert, you can know exactly when these videos are posted. So thank you for tuning in today here at Brown Coat Reviews. I'm your host, Laura, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Have a great day.